Google, what's your favorite color? I like blue and yellow and red and green. They're comforting and familiar and also Google's colors. These are some of my thoughts on the HomePod, which is a Google Home Mini stand. Here it comes in a really nice box. Inside the box we have a manual and we have the mount. Nice and clean. Now to just install the wire, feeding it through, sliding the end in place, wrapping it up, making sure it's neat and low profile so it can all fit in. There, just leaving a bit of a tail. Now to fit it on and then as you screw it, it's going to tighten it in a little bit, so just make sure you have just enough slack so it all fits. Mounting the speaker, connecting it, and there it is. Now if we were to rewind back to the beginning, and here, if I didn't just throw away the manual and actually looked at it, I would have noticed that it said to wrap the cord around the outside and not on the inside, which would probably be better for the cord in the long run, seeing as it isn't so tight and kinked in there. But I think it looks a little nicer on the inside, so that's how I'm going to leave it for now. Now I noticed that the power brick was a little loose in the mount and that was giving me some issues on some older plugins that aren't holding on to the power brick as tightly. So I decided to add some tape to make it a more friction fit. This seemed to work great. When Derek reached out and asked me if I was interested in reviewing the HomePod, which he has available on Amazon, link is in the description, I gladly accepted. My first thought was, for traveling I thought it would be perfect to have in my suitcase or backpack and just plug into any hotel that I'm staying at so that I can have all my alarms and timers just set and ready to go so I won't be late for any meetings. And it also just looks great around the house, in the kitchen or living room. With its clean cord design, I think this is a great product.